Hello! Now, I recently got my Reaper Kickstarter 3, the Bones one, uh, had just arrived. Very impressed overall. I think the material has been improving. I'm not sure it has, like it's a feeling. I don't know that for fact, but the detail seems better on some of these new ones than when I looked at some of the older ones. Some of the figures I have from like 2009, uh, the detail is a bit soft in places. Uh, especially, I mean, the white doesn't always help that, but still, the, some of the areas with the pouches and belts and stuff like this, it's sort of hard, much harder to see. And some of the figures also, uh, the detail between the metal and the bones is noticeably different. Sometimes it's changed completely. That doesn't seem to be quite as much now. These new figures have a lot of detail, and they're quite good. This is Keg Dwarf. I don't know his actual name. He was just in one of the, the bags, not... They weren't all in their individual containers yet. That's that's the thing. When you get the Kickstarter, you don't always get the original packaging. So I don't actually know what he's called yet. I've got to be honest. When I first got him, I I wasn't really that impressed with that particular figure. I think, though, part of this is I've been playing a lot of D&D recently over at Wood for Sheep, which is north from here in Markham. It's been serious fun in a way. It hasn't been high on the role playing, but it's been, you know, everyone's had a really good time and it's been it's been serious in the, trying to have a good time. So I think that all the characters though that I've been making and working with and doing have been in my head to be a bit more realistic. So with the problem with this character in, in this sense was he was cartoony. And I think that's where my dislike for it was coming. It wasn't an active dislike. It was just, you know, when you sort of looked at this, uh, yeah. but the longer he sat on the bench, Amongst some of the other stuff that I've been working on, he was just sitting at the back there. I found I kept looking at him. And the more I looked at him, the more character he seemed to have. And that just started to grow on me, basically. And so I decided I'd, I'd sit down and do him. And the lo longer I painted him, the more fun he actually was. Yes, he is cartoony. He's not the most realistic dwarf you will get in Reaper Bones 3 or from other manufacturers or even Reaper themselves. He's not the most realistic, but he is a lot of fun. And there's a lot of character there. And the more you, you do work on him, you find that he's got this fantastic beard, which is the thing that drew me to him initially. I think a lot of people have been talking about the keg, which is a great idea. And the wood texture and everything is really cool to paint. But for me, it was the beard because on the front, it's big and it's full. And on the back, it's braided. His hair's braided and it's long. And it just really sort of stood out as being an interesting sort of character. I enjoyed painting the beard. I decided to go black with the beard. I normally sort of go browns, but there was going to be brown on his boots, brown on the keg, and I wanted the beard to be the focal point. Originally, I was thinking the keg, because that's what a lot of people sort of talk about. He's leaning on this massive keg. And I thought, yes, that's cool. And you got the wood texture and everything. But then the longer it went on, I kept thinking, no, it's the beard. So I decided to go black so that it really stood out. I went with green, uh, that he's more... He could have been a ranger. Uh, could have been a dwarven ranger. But I decided to go green for the tunic and part of his armor. He's not wearing a lot of armor. He's got a, a shoulder plate, which I did do in silver. But he's got two gauntlets that look metal. So I did them in a green metal. And then he's got the uh, tankard. And it's got a really nice pattern on it, even for his small size. I did the green in there to tie everything in and then a gold overlay just on top. This figure would be fantastic. In 54mm, the tankard would be amazing because it would have a really intricate design that you could really bring up with the green and the gold. I did do a wash. I did a grey wash rather than a black wash on the beard. Uh, normally, you're going to do a darker wash when you're doing the your shadows. But as I painted it black, and I, went, I didn't do grey, I went straight out black, it's going to be difficult to make black any blacker. I actually did a, a slightly lighter grey for the shadows and then some dry brushing on the beard, on the, on the edges, especially on the eyebrows and top of the hair. So, yeah, overall, he is loads and loads of fun. The uh, little cape at the back, and he's, uh, it's like a map case or something he's got as well. I am really happy with how the pattern on his second tankard He's a two-fisted drinker. He's got a, the main tankard he's using, and he's also got the uh, one that's strapped. Uh, I think it's strapped to to the actual keg, uh, but it's got a really cool texture that you can bring out on the base of it, which I think is really, really nice. Uh, bluey gray for his cape. Uh, I did a steel headband. He's got a little, like, to hold his braids together. And I did green on his uh, on his shoulder armor piece he has a uh, like a leaf 
so I tied the green back into there. So here is a lot of fun, and considering the small scale, there's a lot of detail, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it. He's going to be uh, released into general release uh, going into, I think it's for the rest of this year, they're going to start getting all these out. I'm not exactly sure what he's called yet. When I know, I will update uh, in the description. But yeah, he's good fun. And uh, I think that if you just like something that's, that's fun and you're not looking for something specific, he's a great figure to have.